guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of iJevin Plays Minecraft. Today we are on episode 43, guys. Hope you guys are all having a great day today so far. I know I'm doing swell. Remember, guys, if you like these videos, don't forget to hit that like button. That's just a friendly reminder. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So the one thing that I want to start off today with is I want to start off by working on maybe a couple different fence designs for the village. Uh, we have been doing a really good job of building it out and we have marked out where we have, you know, where we want to go, but I don't want to just leave those bricks there. I actually want to build a wall. Um, and I think one of the problems that I had before was that I was just like, I was kind of overcomplicating the wall. I think I might want to do something a little bit simpler now. So let's get a crafting table and uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So Let's go ahead and make a couple jack-o'-lanterns here, because I'm not sure on the source of light that I want to use yet. We're going to use 16 of those. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of glowstone. Take that, and then we'll split those in half and make... We'll make... Uh, let's do, like, three of those as well. Okay, so we have three different sources of light here. Uh, there we go. We have those three. So what I was thinking was... At each one of these, probably, like, we'll make a section, you know, like, this will be a section, this will be a section, it'll kind of, you know, it have parts to it, that way we can easily need to move, because it's not always going to be straight, you know, that's what I'm thinking, I'm like, it's not always going to be straight, so what I'm thinking is for each section, I kind of had this idea in my head for a three high fence, like so, um, having a light right here, and then having that come back up like so um and then probably slabs on top now remember um we the only thing we really are gonna have problems you know keeping out will be spiders um so we can either do half slabs on the side or we can do them on the top so let's go ahead and make a couple different variations here and see how we like that um I'm gonna remove the light. Let me get rid of that. And so I'm gonna make uh, a couple different ones here and see which one we like better. Uh, it doesn't exactly matter about you know what material we use as long as we like the way it looks is what is the most important thing. Let me grab some taters. Okay. Okay, so on this one, we did on side. So um, on the next one, I probably should do on top. In there and then on the next one we should probably do on top and overlaid so we can do like that and we can come over one all right so let's go ahead and get rid of these now remember if we use the lamps we have to be able to you know have a way to turn those on and off which could be a problem so for using lamps we automatically have to use this one. But if we use something maybe like this, we could probably get away with the jack-o'-lantern in there. Actually, don't you need a block underneath of these for jack-o'-lanterns? Can I remove that then? So can I get rid of that? Yeah, I can get rid of that. Um, so if we do something like that, we could probably put maybe something like that. See, I just don't know about that overhang. I think the... The overhang is kind of ugly. You know what I think is really just wrong with this in general? I think it's one too high. I think maybe too high might be better. Um, like I said, I didn't want this to be like a really, like, you know, royal thing. So, you know what I also might do? Instead of being able to see the front of the jack-o'-lantern, I might actually change it to this right here. Can I place him on this? You can. There we go. So you can't see it. It's still going to give off light. We can put a fence there. Or we, you know, we can put whatever there. And then now we can do this. So that's a, a good middle section fence. It's got light. I really like this. It's like nice and back. So what do we do for the sides? So now we have the option so we can, you know, we can come out one block. Or we could use stairs. Uh, let's go make some stairs. Um... Stay a ruse. All right, so we'll try half slabs on that side, stairs on this side, and see how they look. 
But if we do the, remember, if we do the stairs, though, we're going to have to uh, put them, like, right here, though, unfortunately. I don't think I want to do the stairs. Um, now it's just a matter of do I want to, I wish there was a block I could put that almost looked like that was holding that up. So do we want to do it like that on both sides? Uh, just remember, uh, this is only the one little station. So, with that being said, this is going to extend, you know, whatever we, we decide on. And then in the middle of this, there's going to be fences. Like so. So, like, when it got to the next station, it would be like that. Uh, another thing I'm thinking about possibly doing is making some trapdoors to kind of maybe hide... Hide that. Let's see what that looks like with trapdoors on there. Okay, I'm not hating that. Definitely not hating that. You know what we might do is... The only thing I think I'm really not liking about it right now is that it's just so bulky, you know? So maybe we cut down. Instead of doing too wide like that, maybe we go... Just like so. Um, and then... Let's get rid of you. Let me get rid of these guys real fast. Okay, um, we have that. Now, if we wanted to do that, then uh, maybe we go glowstone instead. Something like that, maybe. Uh, the only problem is, is if we're going to put them on the side, you know, that's not going to connect like so. How does that look with overhang? That's, that's not bad, actually. I think I really like that. Now, the only question is, do we do we do it like this, or do we do lamps? Now, if we do lamps, we can get redstone in there. Um, so let me grab a lamp. There we go. Let's put our two trap doors over top of that. You notice, I didn't notice that the fence is connected to those. Now, if we're going to do redstone to this, we're going to have to come down here. Did I bring any cobblestone? No, let me uh, let me grab a piece of cobblestone real fast, just to check. But no, so so how we would like this is we would just uh, run a piece of redstone underneath it. Well, not a piece of redstone underneath of this, but a lever underneath of this. Another thing that this gives us uh, accessibility to is if we really wanted to get fancy, and I mean, you know, ooh la la fancy, <laughs> ooh la la. If we really wanted to get that fancy, we could trigger this with a block. Uh, when the sun goes down and all the lights on the outside of the village will turn off and on so that would be that would be our our light post and then sort of come this way now the only problem is we can do house slabs like that but that won't stop spiders from getting in but on the bright side spiders don't attack villagers only zombies do so with that being said i think this is our winner uh, so what I want to do now is I want to build a couple of these and see how they look just outside the village. So let me get a couple of little sections done and I'll come back. Okie dokie. So I have built up the wall a little bit. Just, you know, trying to follow our pathway here. We're definitely going to make these lights turn on with the signal of the sun. That's going to be sick. I, I swear it's going to be amazing. Um, and then for the, like, the turns here, I decided to do... I decided to do increments of five. So one, two, three, four, five light etc one two three four five light etc that one yeah that's five and then for the cuts over here this is five but it's diagonal so it does look like it's more one two three four and then five back there um and so the only thing that i'm not like really certain on is the ground right now because right now it's just like you know just what we've already started and it's like hey it's this dirt so what i'm thinking about doing is maybe just putting either i think i'm gonna try cobblestone first so let's go ahead go right here. Remember, we're going to have circuits running through this whole entire place as well. So um, there, there, there. I actually really like the difference that cobblestone kind of gives to this. So I think that's what we're going to use. It just needs to be some neutral color that's not going to, uh, you know, get in the way, I think. I like that a lot. Let's get rid of you. Yeah, so I'm liking the sense. I think um, maybe every episode we'll do a couple sections. 
until we have completely surrounded this place. Alright, so there, 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 there. Go in there. <laughs> And there and there. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's not too hateful. And so, like, uh, we'll have to hide a daylight sensor somewhere. I'm going to cover this up. We'll have to hide a daylight sensor somewhere. And once we have done that, then this thing will turn on and off according to when the sun rises and closes. Um, I don't think the zombies will have a problem being blocked there either. So let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I'm actually really liking it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it looks good. Okay, guys, so we're going to take a quick break. Uh, once we come back, we will start on something new. Okay, guys, welcome back. So now we're going to go ahead and work on something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. We finally get to tear our sheep pen down because, you know, our sheep farm is now finished. Uh, we can get rid of all this. You know how long this farm has been here? Essentially, I'm pretty sure we made this farm like day one or two of the world. It's been a while. About about 30 episodes or so. Uh, anyways, so I've been wanting to make a map like board, you know, like where it shows the world for a while now. That's uh, that's something that I've been wanting to do. So I think today we're going to finally get this done. So I've been looking at the different maps um, and I think that I want to do Zoom 3. So, let me go here. Right, so I'm just kind of cleaning up a little bit. So, our pathway will come this way. Just kind of making a general decision on this. And I think I want to have our map, um, like, almost like a kiosk. Not, not exactly a kiosk, because a kiosk would indicate that we're trying to sell something. But not really. I think I want it to go, like, right here. So we'll probably come in two blocks, just like so. And um, let me go see if I have any birch wood real fast and put some other, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. There we go. Wow, these are awful. Do we have any other wood? I don't really want to use my oak, but if I have to, I will. Oh, here we go, there's a little bit of oak there. Yeah, we're just gonna make a couple more chests. Um, we will start working on our massive automatic storage auto, uh, farm once the iron farm is finished. But until then, we can't really do much. So, all right, let's put all this away. So what we're going to do with this farm is we're actually going to use the jack-o'-lanterns that we made to, um, to light this thing from behind. So I got to make sure that I brought everything with me. I need, okay, redstone, there we go. Uh, and then let me grab... I only have two spruce. Wow, is that all the spruce that I really have? I'm probably just like staring right at it too. Um, I'm we're gonna run over to the other to the base roll over here real fast. I think I might have some spruce in here. I'm hoping I do. I really we really need it. I might have to make another farm or uh, get our tree farm up and running soon. I think. None there. None there. Wow, really. I honestly thought that I had spruce. Anyways, so I'm thinking I'm going to do zoom three for maps. Um, spruce. I'll definitely take the glowstone. Wow, there is like none here. What is going on? I can't believe we used it all. Wow, the salt is real. Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, I just thought we would have, I thought we'd have more for sure, but I can't think of any other place it would be unless it's over at the other base, which we can check, but... Um, so zoom three will give us um, a zoomed out enough area to where... Actually, you know what? I might want to do zoom two because I do want to see a little bit of detail. Um, I just want to check and see if we have any spruce real fast because I, I do want to finish this pathway. I apologize, guys. I apologize. There we go. I knew I had some. I'm like, I know I'm not going crazy. I saw it in a chest. You can't hide from me. Okay, so... Let's go back over there, and I'm thinking that we're going to do uh, a 4x4 four four map. So, let's go ahead and get the floor finished here. Put that down. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we're, you know, we're completing stuff as we go. And obviously our, uh, there we go, much better. And so, let's go over here. And we need to get some fences. I should have just kept all this stuff on me. What am I doing? 
<laughs> I am failing, man. The failure is quite real right now. Okay, so here, here. <laughs> I forgot stuff again. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, here. Let's just grab everything we need. I'm gonna grab you, 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 you. That should be enough. And we got enough to make a crafting table as well. Okay, so let's not fail this time. There we go. And so here. And we'll make this four high. And what I'm gonna do is I we need to make some maps now. So uh, I'm gonna do the maps off camera because that's gonna take a little while to get all those filled out. But uh, crafting table. So we need to make eight base maps. Um, so it takes eight compasses and paper. Let's go to make ourselves some paper here. There we go. And so we need to make a couple compasses. If I'm not mistaken, oh, I think it's the other way around. There we go. And then we need to surround that to make a map. So that's the base map. I think I want to do this map right here. Uh, I thought that's how you made it. Uh, I guess it would have to be um, already opened. Let's go ahead and open it. There we go. And then let's go back into the table. So is this how, it, is this how you do it? Yeah, zoomed out map. There we go. So what's that look like now? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so this one is probably going to set somewhere in this area, like right here. So I need to make a bunch of these maps and get this area filled out. Once I have all that finished, we'll come back and take a look at what we've got. Okie dokie, so I've got three maps finished. Man, the scaling of these maps makes it hard to fill this thing in, but I'm hoping that I got the, the placement right. I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest with you. They, I'm hoping that they line up. Uh, so we need a couple of those. There we go. So if I, if I, I think if I line these up right, we should have, um, oh, I just realized this was five wide. Uh, we need to fix that. Let me fix that, sir. Okay. All right, so I just finished this one. I'm thinking it's these three. So there. There. Okay, that lines up. And there. Um. I think I want to turn them. Is that right? No, that's right. I don't think that's right. Is that right? I can't tell. No, that's definitely not right either. Wait, uh, let me let me pick this one back up. Yeah, I think this one might be in the wrong spot. Uh, where did our? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it, these are hard to get get right, man. Is that better? Uh, pretty sure that's it. Okay, yeah, that's how we want this to look because that's where we're standing. Uh, so we need to do that quadrant and then the outside quadrant still, and then we'll be good to go. I'm glad that we decided to do this scaling as well. It looks really nice. O-M-G, Batman. I underestimated the actual work that was going to go into making this thing. It is finally finished. I have literally been doing maps for like two hours. So this is our surrounding area. We've got a giant mesa. Uh, our village sits right pretty much smack dab in the middle, which is pretty awesome. That's exactly how I wanted it. I'm thinking I might redo the map, though, because I want it to be sort of framed in the middle. So we might redo that in a little while. Um, we have a pretty nice world, though. We've got a giant, like, almost birch forest. We've got dark oak over here. The only thing I really haven't seen yet was, uh, like, the acacia wood. I haven't seen that yet. So if you go forward here and then up and over to, like, right here is that village we found before. Um, over here is like a swamp area, so we have got plenty of cool spaces to go to if we need to. And uh, I'm thinking over here, um, actually I can't tell if they're on the minimap or not. You see the little white dots there? That might be, might be, 
um, those temples, but I can't, you can't really see on the map, so really hoping that we have some temples. All right, guys, so I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So today's episode was kind of a trial run of how I want to handle the New Year's challenge when we hit the January 1st and we're doing the 365 videos. Uh, we'll have sort of an intro, we'll have a first segment, we'll have an ad break, we'll come back to a second segment, and then we'll finish the video. Finish the video. So let me know how you guys felt about this. You get about 20 minutes of gameplay, which works out pretty well. Uh, we tend to get a lot done, so we did get, we got part of the fence finished, we got the sweet map finished, and uh, yeah, today's episode went really well, I felt like. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button as always. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. This is Ijevin, peace out guys. Thank <laughs> you.